In this uh, last part, let's discuss the last three points. Opening a bank account um, and registering for a state online account, tax account and, and sales tax account. Um, so opening a bank account in the United States, it's not difficult, but you have to do it uh, in person. If anyone knows how to do this online, uh, if there are such banks, uh, let me know. I would be really curious. Uh, so you basically have to fly into the United States and go into a branch in person and just tell them, hey, I would like to open a uh, business bank account. What they will ask you for is the articles of incorporation, uh, which you will get from the registered agent. Um, they will ask you for your business address, uh, which you will already have registered. And they will ask you for the EIN number, which is employer identification number. Um, it's it's very simple thing to do. They'll also ask you a few, inf uh, few details about yourself. Um, you can use, uh, if they ask for address, you can use either your own uh, address in your home country or you can just use the address that you get as a business address. I believe that's what I did. And um, now the question is which bank to use. So uh, in United States there are many many banks but there are only few that operate uh, across the entire country. And if you choose a bank that operates across the entire country it will make it very very simple uh, or easy for you to do business. So I personally chose uh, Chase as a bank. Um, Chase has been really good uh, opening account. There was very simple. I just from Canada I drove to the closest uh, branch which, which was in Idaho I believe and open a bank account in 20 minutes there in person in a small branch in a small town uh, and I've been using that since then. It costs about $15 a month uh, to operate, but if you have more than $1,500 in the account, uh, it's free. And you can do business with all the banks uh, across the United States. There are no issues with banking. Um, so that's something that I would really uh, stress is to focus on the banks that are operating across the, in the entire United States so that you don't have problems with doing transactions uh, in the United States. And also internationally. So once you uh, get paid by your customers so that you are able to transfer uh, transfer the money that you you made into your own bank account in in whichever country you are in res residing in. Uh, so if you are working with a larger bank like Chase, then you will not have problems. Although it's quite costly, I think it costs forty five US dollars per international wire payment. So it's it's quite expensive. Um, so last two points were registering registering a state online tax account. Um, so if in each uh, state uh, where you do business or where you have your uh, business registered, uh, you should be able to apply for an online account through which you are managing things here like submitting uh, corporate taxes every year, uh, doing annual returns, or uh, or file uh, for sales taxes. Uh, and if you are doing sales in that specific state where you have your business uh, to customers in that specific state, then you will need to be charging sales, local sales taxes. Uh, there are, each state is managing in a different way. Uh, Colorado is a good example where each little jurisdiction, little town and portion of a town has own uh, sales tax. Uh, so that's something you have to look into. Uh, for example, you have to look at taxes based on uh, their zip codes. Um, if you are selling to states uh, outside of the state, then oftentimes uh, you don't have to register for a sales uh, sales tax account with your state. Although there are two types of, of uh, states. There are those that are charging out-of-state taxes and those that are not. For example, I operate a business in the state of New York, and if I'm selling to customers uh, somewhere in, let's say, in Colorado or in in California, then I don't have to charge them a sales tax. Um, this has been changing, though, because of all the online sales, so states are looking into uh, legislation to change that. Um, 
so if you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section so that we can I can answer them uh, and hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something uh, new and you will not hesitate and just open a business account in the United States or business uh, or corporation in the United States and uh, will be running successful business there.